welcome to Stan the Wine Man TV. I am your host, Stan Rutan, and this is the Blue Collar Wine Show, where I help you spend your wine dollars wisely. Now, we're in my jam here. I love finding good value wines. There, we have three French wines at nine bucks. I get excited about that. I am known for that at the store. People are always asking me a good value wine. I really strive hard to find those great values, especially under... All right, so these are all uh, Jean-Paul, Cuvée Jean-Paul wines from this one. This is a... Well, let's get started. Why not? Right off the bat, all $9, okay? Cuvée Jean-Paul 2019 Gascon Blanc de Blanc. Okay, and does it say what's in it? Uh, let's find out. Oh, yeah. Awesome! Awesome! 75% Columbard and 25% Uni Blanc. I love these Gascon wines. They're great summer wines. This one's in at nine bucks. There's the label. Whoop. Right there. All right, rinse. This is always fun for me. I tell you what, when I run across a wine that is rocking for nine bucks, I am very, very excited. All right, so again, 75 Columbard, 25 Uni Blanc. Let's see what we get on the nose. A lot of melon, a lot of melon, a little bit of apple. A little bit of wet stone coming through. Yeah. Look at the color on that. Yeah, yeah. Pretty white. Just saying. That melon and apple comes through big time. Let's see what we get on the palate. Fresh acidity, apples, melon, a little bitterness on the back side, apple skin maybe, a little bit of lemon kind of lingering in there a little bit, and the minerality. Definitely shows through. Not a huge part of the profile of this wine, but yeah, it's definitely there. That's a little um, expansion of the fruit on the mid palate, then it dries out, and the lemon notes really take over on the backside. I'm even getting a touch of grass, fresh cut grass on the backside, which is really cool. This has decent complexity for nine bucks. It's a fresh wine. It, I'm talking oysters, clams, mussels, halibut, salad. This goes on shrimp. I get a lot of people say, hey, I'm making some shrimp. What white can I use? Because I like to drink a little bit and cook my shrimp with it. Or clams. I like to saute my clams, but I have something to drink. This would be a good one. I, I think this would be nice. See, now I can get excited about this. If you drink it by yourself, like I'd tell somebody, if you're just drinking it by yourself, you might get a, just a touch of bitter. It's not bad. Sometimes I like that in my wine. And it comes from the lemon apple skin. Somebody, you know, sprinkles some lemon on an apple skin and bite into it. Just imagine that. But decent complexity, well-made wine, good balance, good acidity, nice and fresh. I like it. I'm going to go B-. minus. I think it's a solid wine for nine bucks. Absolutely. I could roll with that big time this summer. Okay, let's move on. The Jean-Paul Cuvée 2018. Was this 19? Yeah. So the rosé is an 18, which is interesting. They should be rolling into the uh, 19 pretty soon. Gascon Rosé. So Gascon is in uh, France, down in the, down around the Languedoc area. Uh, this rolls in at, again, $9. My favorite uh, rosés come from... Cinso Mouvedra. I'm not a big fan of Grenache Rosé, but I know a lot of people are. So, there's the bottle. Nine bucks. I got Rosé all over the store right now. It's so cool to see people drinking more and more Rosé up here in the San Juan Islands. I really like it. So again, Merlot, Tanat, Cab Franc, and Cab Sauve. It's got that classic salmon color that everybody gets excited about. The orange hue to it. Let's see what we get on the nose. 
a little dusty. Like, you know, you just walked into a place where a guy cut a bunch of lumber in half. Getting a, a little bit of a peach component. Definitely a plums and, and, and cherries. A little bit challenged. I mean, I'm trying to get these notes out of it. But there's like a pitted fruit thing going on that's really interesting to me. Let's see what we get on the palate. It's a little boring. A little boring to me. It's there. It, it, it's fresh. But the acidity isn't quite driving it too much. I don't have any real uh, flavors popping out in this wine. I get that pitted fruit thing coming through. Maybe a little bit of um, um, white plum notes. Uh, cherries, uh, rainier, uh, rainier cherries. Um, just a touch of vegetal, but overall just kind of boring. This is really not that exciting of a rosé. It just kind of is there, blah, blah, blah. But, I mean, it's not offensive. Don't get me wrong. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just boring. Have you, did you ever have a class like in high school where you just dreaded going there because the teacher was just really didn't have much going on as far as teaching, just no modulation, just you know, just blah, blah, blah. That's what the thing is. I'm gonna go C minus C. And nothing wrong with it. It's just a little below average because it's just kind of boring. Let's move on. The uh, 2019 Cuvée Jean Paul Valcluse. Rouge. And this rolls in at nine bucks. So Valcluse is a Valcluse is a specific area in the Rhone Valley. There's the label. And I bet they have the varietals on here. Yes, 70 Grenache, 30 Syrah. I love Grenache based reds. I'm not a big fan of Grenache Rosé, but Grenache based reds I love. So let's see what we have here. Getting the glass all messy. I'm really messy with glasses, I'll admit it. I'm not ashamed of it. I accept the fact that I'm a little bit messy pouring wines. Let's see what we get on those. Hmm. Raspberries. Cherries, plums. Little touch of chocolate, dare I say, from the new world, the old world. Blackberry, cherry, raspberry, cherry, blackberry, plum. A little potpourri of fruit with a touch of chocolate. All right, let's see what we get on the palate. I like the nose. In my last episode, I had a Pinot Noir that I, from California, CSUN, I believe it was called. Um, I talked about it being a crowd pleaser. This is another one. Take it to any party. Anywhere you go, you're going to be the head of the party. You don't even have to tell them how much you spent on it. It's nine bucks, guys. This has soft tannins, but really solid fruit. I, I get the blackberry. I get the um, plum. I get the cherry. A little bit of raspberry coming through. Just a tiny grip on the finish. A little minerality. A little crushed rock action on the finish. It thins out a bit. Then now tobacco comes through. I'm big, big one on tobacco. I like it. It adds a lot of character to the wine. I am drooling. This is good acidity, nice and fresh. 
With this lactin personality, this made up for, this has a lot going on, but in a very simple way, I mean, it's just a really good party wine. I mean, you could have this with barbecue chicken, you could have it with hamburgers, pizza, you could knock yourself out. You would, this is, I could, I would drink this every day. I mean, it's just one of those kind of wines you can just pop, and it's good, yeah, it's good. Ding, 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 ding. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I'm gonna go C plus, B minus. I love the crushed rock on the finish. I think it's a delicious, it's a 10 in the delicious category. It's a nice little red that you could drink every day. It's got a little fruit on it, yes, it does. It's from, but it kind of gives that, okay. You might be thinking New World, but right at the finish, you know, a little grip, a little crushed rock. Love it, good job. And right now I'm getting the tobacco with a little bit of wilted rose petal. That's pretty cool for nine bucks. C plus, B minus. There you go. Thanks for taking a little time out of your day. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You keep watching, and I'll keep helping you spend your wine dollars wisely.